Hello, and welcome back to Serious Coinage. In this video, we'll discuss how BlackRock, one of the world's biggest asset management firms, has tremendous financial clout over global markets. We'll also look at their shady trading practices, assess their economic forecasts, and examine the repercussions for other countries throughout the globe. Larry Fink started BlackRock in 1988, and it now manages over $8.5 trillion in assets, making it the biggest fund on Wall Street. Except for the United States and China, it's greater than the gross domestic product of every nation on the earth. If you earned $1 each second, you would have as much money as BlackRock in around 240,000 years. I know, you've gotten your fill. There are enough of powerful businesses and people with enough money to grind everyone to a halt. But here's why BlackRock should be viewed with caution. Because of its ludicrous liquidity, BlackRock is the largest shareholder in practically every significant publicly listed company. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about why you shouldn't be afraid of BlackRock. You should actually be terrified. The combined assets managed by industry behemoths BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street total $13 trillion. In the United States, it accounts for over 70% of GDP. But this is not the reason you should be afraid of BlackRock. You have reason to be terrified of them because they serve as a link between Wall Street and Washington, D.C. Can you guess which business the Federal Reserve hired to clean up after the government bailed out too big to fail corporations? Such as Lehman Brothers, Citigroup, AIG, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac during the 2008 housing crisis. BlackRock, you guessed it. The fact that BlackRock had significant assets and the exact banks they were supporting and bailing out exacerbated the situation. This is referred to by financial professionals as circular ownership. This, however, is horse economics. BlackRock holds a stake in CNN and Fox, allowing them to unilaterally influence political news coverage. They also control the markets, the items we consume, and the places in which we live. Our politicians have large money as well. The best-selling author of House of Cards, William D. Cohan, compares BlackRock CEO Larry Fink to The Wizard of Oz, the figure in the shadows. Furthermore, BlackRock prefers to stay secret, which is why you've probably never heard of it. However, it's much too large to keep hidden forever. Here are some enigmatic facts about it, as well as how it impacts you. Number one, its holdings are worth trillions of dollars. BlackRock presently holds around $8.59 trillion in assets as of November 2023, and this figure is rising. A stack of a trillion $1 notes would span nearly 2.72 times around the Earth's equator, measuring 67,866 miles. If $1 trillion were denominated in $100 notes, it would be enough to fill 4.5 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Number 2. How come you've never heard of BlackRock? Despite having much less money under their control, prominent American banks such as J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo, and Citigroup routinely make headlines. The fact is that you haven't heard of BlackRock since it has large stakes in the main media companies that might have informed you about it. BlackRock has large holdings in Graham Media Group, which owns Slate and Foreign Policy. They also own shares in CNN, CBS, Fox, Disney, Comcast, Gannett, and Sinclair Broadcast Group. By investing substantially in media companies, BlackRock keeps itself out of the limelight and exercises control over the coverage they get. Number 3. The U.S. Government's Fourth Arm Unofficially In 2020, when COVID-19 first arrived, it caused a flash recession throughout the United States and the rest of the globe. The Federal Reserve and the U.S. government intervened as they normally do and enacted new monetary policies to restore stability in the nation. However, this time they had some company, BlackRock. BlackRock was requested to help in financial market stability by the United States government and Federal Reserve. The authorities utilized BlackRock software to acquire access to the relevant financial information. Because it was given access to critical financial data, some have dubbed BlackRock as the fourth arm of the U.S. government. BlackRock answered that the information will not even be disclosed internally. Number 4. Its holdings include Rivals Stock can we even call it a competition when apparent competitors are controlled by the same people? And since BlackRock seldom acts alone, we're inviting Vanguard and State Street along for the ride. State Street Global Advisors, or SSGA, is yet another asset manager. But its suspiciously tight ties to BlackRock distinguish it. 
airlines, oil refineries, steel mills, mining operations, e-commerce platforms, financial institutions, insurance providers, tobacco firms, car manufacturers, arms manufacturers, and renewable energy suppliers are all companies that BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street have holdings in. The fundamental issues here is whether any of our ostensible competitors are competitors at all. Given that BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street are among the top investors in almost every significant competitor we can think of. Number 5. It has complete control over all pharmaceutical businesses. BlackRock has acquired the majority of shares in almost every pharmaceutical company you can think of. BlackRock also has stakes in the top three pharmaceutical companies in the United States. Pfizer, Johnson & Johnson, and Merck. Number 6. It really has $16 trillion in assets. We indicated at the beginning of this video that BlackRock owns $8.5 trillion in assets. Because of Aladdin, the amount it has under control might be twice as much. BlackRock's own financial analysis software, not the one from Arabian Nights. That equates to four times the entire amount of money on the planet, or 10% of the global financial assets. The GDPs of the United States and China are both in the low teens, but China is far lower at $20 trillion. Surprisingly, Vanguard and State Street are two of BlackRock's major Aladdin customers. Number 7. There are no rules. Under US law, banks with more than $50 billion in assets are subject to additional inspection by the Treasury. The government, on the other hand, pays little heed in the fact that BlackRock has assets worth 200 times as much. Why? Because BlackRock is an asset management firm rather than a bank, the law permits it to operate with little oversight. However, this does not explain why the government has not subjected asset managers to the act or established a new law particularly for them. Senator Elizabeth Warren, for example, voiced this worry at a hearing and challenged Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on whether BlackRock's collapse might jeopardize the U.S. economy. It is also classified as a global enterprise. BlackRock also has investments in a number of overseas markets. However, their activities in the UK are equally as contentious as they are in the US. BlackRock's approach is the same across the board. First, it cultivates government-level ties to acquire a competitive edge, and more importantly, to avoid regulation. Following that, it invests in everything else. For example, BlackRock was essential in the creation of Canada's Infrastructure Bank, which provides finance for public and private infrastructure projects throughout the nation. However, the bank was chastised for serving BlackRock's interests. Number 9. It is the reason why few Americans are purchasing homes at the moment. The United States has experienced a tremendous increase in property prices in recent years, which has been linked to a range of causes. With the exception of asset management such as BlackRock, in 2021, it was revealed that BlackRock has been buying up whole communities of houses in order to transform them into rental properties. And it wasn't aimed at multi-unit rental buildings. Instead, it focused on single-family dwellings, the most common kind of housing in the United States. As a consequence, house ownership has become unattainable for many families, forcing them to rent. A more significant problem develops when investors, noticing the rapid growth in house prices, borrow money to build family homes which they then struggle to sell because they are overvalued. When this occurs, a housing bubble arises, which is followed by a recession. Number 10. Who is the unidentified owner? We've now arrived at the million-dollar question. Who owns BlackRock? Vanguard Capital Research and Management Co., BlackRock Fund Advisors, and State Street SSGA are the top four shareholders in BlackRock. Vanguard, the same Vanguard, is BlackRock's biggest shareholder. Capital Research and Management Co., another obfuscating company, comes in second. Both firms are carefully followed by BlackRock Fund Advisors, a division of BlackRock. Their websites are administered by the same individual, Lawrence Larry Fink, and they both have the same CEO. State Street, which has previously been mentioned multiple times on this list, has risen to fourth place. Surprisingly, BlackRock is State Street's second largest shareholder, after only Vanguard. Is there something suspicious about this situation? We think there is, and we feel that identifying Vanguard's owner exposes the fish. Who precisely is the owner of Vanguard? We have no knowledge since Vanguard is a privately owned firm. It is fully owned by its investors and, unlike competitors, BlackRock and State Street does not have a public stock market listing. Who are these financial supporters? Nobody knows, and we were unable to identify any identities online. 
According to the aforementioned facts about BlackRock, it owns investments in practically all significant publicly listed firms throughout the globe. It benefits from the activities of the corporations, and as a major shareholder has significant responsibility for the management of those enterprises and the worldwide consequences of their operations. We've just touched the surface of BlackRock's heinous business practices. There are many more instances to look at, ranging from big tech, hate profiters, to union-busting businesses and beyond. In circumstances when businesses are committing damage, BlackRock is pervasive. Thank you for watching, and remember to click the notification bell and subscribe for more.